You may have seen many people do many things on the road, such as throwing garbage, spitting, and doing many more colorful things. Each person doesn't have a, each person has a different sense of responsibility. One may think that when he makes a mess, the next person in line will come and clean that mess. The next person will have more or less the same mindset and so on. Finally, when there is someone who is willing to clean the mess, it will be too overwhelming for that person to clean the mess. We have polluted the world so much that we now have garbage islands floating around the sea. In fact, these islands would have found more land than Christopher Columbus has ever found. Each person in the world has an idea to clean the world and that idea is very bizarre, as bizarre as the idea that I may tell you now. Yeah. Now why did I choose this topic? I felt it was very relatable to the common man, such as if I was doing any science talk, then you may need uh, some science background to understand what I'm saying. Secondly, I feel this can save the world as a, if people make the habit of keeping the environment clean, then they'll, then the world can clean itself. Now, I came across a question that many people do come across when they start a project. What is a habit? Now, a habit is any behavior that is constant over a period of time. The habit can be voluntary or involuntary. Meaning you will know whether you're doing the habit or you won't even realize that you're doing that habit, such as biting your nails. Now a bad habit or a habit made out of pure pleasure is not exactly a habit. It is a type of habit, but it comes under addiction, which is not fully a habit. Now coming to the main topic, how do we make a habit? I found the, easy, the three hours method the easiest method. First you have a reminder such as you remind yourself that you have a habit to do in case you forget. And secondly you have the routine which is doing the habit itself. Thirdly you have a reward. Now this reward should not go against the habit because if now say you are brushing your teeth you and you reward yourself by giving yourself a chocolate that doesn't exactly count because you need to brush your teeth again. There are certain things I need to tell you first. When you are, the reminder should always be physical. In case it's a mental reminder, then you, it may make you lethargic, meaning you won't find any push. And the reward will also help you want to do the habit more. It will also be a push factor. No. There are certain other factors I also found to improve habits. Such as, if you recognize your, the, why you're doing the habit, ask yourself your question and answer them, then you'll start to respect the reason of the habit. Hence, you'll want to do the habit more. Now, there will be drawbacks. There'll be some sour grapes who'll come and tell you, you may not be able to do the habit, you're not up to it. But then, you have to ignore that and push yourself to do the habit. Then, otherwise, you, every single comment will push you down. Now, in, in case you're not able to do a habit and you want to compensate it but you don't know when, that's the time you start writing down a journal, meaning a plan, which days you did the um, habit, which days you didn't do, so you can compensate it accordingly. Now, don't complicate the habit by starting big. Say you want to start running, don't run 10 kilometers because one, you, you won't feel up to it and secondly, the it may not be good for your body also and lastly you need to get your motivation because that will also be a push factor so your motivation can be friends your motivation can be music anything you find now bad habits what is a bad habit a bad habit is any habit that negatively affects the environment around you now Breaking a bad habit is easy. You use the three hours method, but you reverse the reasons why you do it. Now, the reminder is to remind you not to do the habit. The routine is not doing the habit. And the reward is for you not to do the habit. But again, here the reward can't be, say you want to 
do f you want uh, you want to quit smoking your reward can't be smoking for leaving smoking because that doesn't make sense in me now finally my examples of making habits my uh, the first habit that came to my mind when i was thinking about this was brushing my teeth every every time after dinner when i wash my hands the i keep the mirror as my physical reminder so the mirror uh, i look at the mirror and then i remember okay i have to brush my teeth so i go and brush my teeth soon it it became a need for me to brush my teeth and my reward was after brushing my teeth i'll feel like my day is complete so i can go and sleep peacefully now my one liner which i leave you with is make a habit and save the world